So in this related rates problem, we read that an, a five meter extension ladder leans against a large wall. The foot of the ladder is anchored two meters from the wall when the person responsible realizes it was put there upside down. Okay, yeah, there it is. So as the ladder collapses, the top of the ladder slides down the wall and the length of the ladder decreases at one meter per second. How fast is the angle between the ladder and the ground changing when it is 30 degrees? Okay, so let's take a look here. What do we know? Well, we know that that's certainly an unfortunate thing and that it's a good thing there was no mathematician on it. So here we go. In this case right here, this distance is a constant. That is a constant two meters. Now, this distance right here, now I, normally I would call this one Z, this would be Y, there would be my X. X is equal to two. This is going to be constant because that bottom there is anchored. Now, this is an extension ladder which means the ladder can get longer. This is what's changing, okay? So as the ladder collapses and slides down the wall, the length of the ladder decreases at one meter per second. So dz by dt is a decreasing amount. It's losing one meter per second, okay? So as, it's sli as the top is sliding down. So what's happening here is this thing stays anchored. This thing's dropping down like this. The ladder's getting smaller, okay? Uh, we want to know how fast the angle between the ladder and the ground, well that's this angle right here, is changing and we're going to give a specific angle here when the angle, sorry I don't know why I'm putting a degree symbol there, when the angle here is 30 degrees, okay, we're interested, what we want to know is how fast that angle is changing, all right? Okay, but calculus here, we're going to work in, in radians. So I'm going to convert that to radians and I know that that's going to be pi over 6. So uh, let's think about here uh, what trig ratio here is going to relate those two. I've got this angle here, right here changing. Um, I know that my base here is a constant and I know that the length of the ladder here is changing in time. So I, I really haven't asked anything about how far up the wall it reaches. So I'm not concerned about that. The trig ratio that's going to relate those three will be cosine. The cosine of theta is going to equal that two over z. Okay, so let's zoom in on this. Now, let's take a look at this. So the derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine of theta, but we've got to take the derivative with respect to time because we're looking at how these things are changing in time here. And that's going to equal, okay, now remember, this is the same as 2 times z to the negative 1. So that negative is going to come down, negative 2, and then this will become z to the negative 2, dz by dt. Okay? dz by dt, because we took the derivative with respect to time, implicitly. Now, I am looking for d theta by dt, so I'm going to, whoops. So I'm going to bring this negative sign over, okay, and so this is going to be, I'm going to drop that over here, the negatives uh, will end up canceling, so this will be 2 over the sine of theta, uh, there will be that z squared down in the denominator, and this is going to be dz by dt. Now, I should know all of this at this point. So 2 uh, this is going to be the sine of pi over 6, and I know what that is, okay. Um, z squared, I don't know what z is. I'm going to have to spend a couple seconds and figure out what z is at this particular instant in time. And you should probably have noticed at this point that that often happens, that as we're working this, these things through here, there's a piece of information that I still need to find. Now, I know that dz by dt, is going to be negative one meter per second. This is the piece that I'm missing. So let's just take a quick look at the scenario that we've got at this point here. I know that this is two, and I know that this angle right here is going to be pi over six, and I want to figure out what z is. Okay, well this is just a, a basic application of, of trigonometry. So the cosine of pi over six is going to equal two divided by the hypotenuse. So 
z is going to equal 2 divided by the cosine of pi over 6. Okay, the pi o cosine of pi over 6, let's think. That's a unit circle ratio. And that is going to be root 3 over 2. And so the answer here is that z is going to equal 4 over root 3. Okay, so that's the length of the hypotenuse at this point. Now I can come back to my derivative here and I can plug that in. 4 over root 3. Now you might wonder why I'm not rationalizing that. Well, rationalizing is, is, not, is not being emphasized in many, cases, in many places as much as it once was here. It does serve a purpose, um, but it, it's, it, in terms of the math I'm about to do here, I'm going to use my calculator. And besides, when I square this, it's going to go away here. Okay, so now I'm going to start to plug in these numbers here. So that negative times that 2 will be negative 2. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. And 4 over root 3 squared is going to end up being 16 over 3. Okay, and so now, what have I got here? I got negative 2 over, what is that? It's going to be 8 thirds. Let's bring that up here. This will be uh, negative 6 over 8. But more than that, I can divide by that common 2 to get negative 3 quarters, okay? And this is going to be negative 3 quarters radians, okay, uh, per, what is it here, the per second, okay? Now, if you don't quite like that, okay, if you don't, you can convert that to degrees if you'd like, okay? We can convert that to degrees. So negative 3 divided by 4, we could multiply that by uh, 180 Divide that by pi. And what we're getting here is negative, uh, if you round that, negative 43 degrees per second. So it's dropping 43 degrees a second at that particular instant in time.